Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to set up our project. We added the grid lines and then exterior wall. Now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, what I want to do is add the interior wall. So I'm going to click on the wall. And after that, we could edit this type, duplicate, and then I'm just going to put interior wall number one and then press OK. Edit. We're going to maintain the 200 and let's leave it as gypsum wallboard. Press OK and then OK again. Now we're going to add in our interior wall um, by first zooming in and then adding it right here. So closing, closing this off. After that, we're going to add a wall right about here. So go to your D grid line and we have a grid line right here that goes to D2 and then going down to E2. So that's closed off. And then after that, we're going to close this off. So let's create a wall right here. Uh, you could even extend this one if you want to. So I'm going to extend this so that we don't have um, two different wall or we don't have um, so that we have uh, one whole wall right here. After that, I'm going to select this CS create similar and then we're going to close this off right here going all the way at the top right here so I'm gonna put this one around 6500 you can even type this off so that it's um, proper and then after this what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have a powder room right here and I'm gonna put this one around 1800 and then going down we can even put this one at 1900 if we want to so 1900 to have more space to our powder room and then this will be our um, opening right here so after this I'm gonna select this CS and we're going to have or we're going to put a wall right about here and then this wall it's supposed to be around 1900 so 1900 from this grid line so grid line e and then 1900 so we have our grid line right here we can even put this one at 2000 so that we have enough room um, this will be where we're going to put our um, laundry. This will be our kitchen. Um, this is either an office or a bedroom if you want to change it up. And then we have our living and dining right here. And then we have our uh, exterior um, area right here that we could put uh, a pool or and then we have a gazebo here if we want to add a gazebo so now after this um, I think it's better if we add in our doors so so that we could uh, view where everything is so right about here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to insert load family and then go to doors and then residential and we have something that looks like here um, you can do you can add different kinds I'm gonna make it simple and use this single one panel wood click on open and we have different variations right here what I want to do is just load everything up so I'm gonna select the one at the top and then scroll down hold on shift and then select the one in the bottom so that it highlights everything and then press OK it's basically just saying that are you sure you want to load this uh, 
large number of uh, loaded uh, family types I'm gonna say yes and then it's loaded uh, we cannot uh, type in CM because that's uh, this is a system uh, family so you need to go to architecture click on this icon or you can type in DR before you put it as you can see we have 300 by 2000 that's not um, the correct size that we want to add so instead you can go to drop down this is all the types that we added so we're we're going to add around 850 by 2000 um, i'm gonna stick with 2000 uh, height and then we could just uh, vary from um, different kinds of uh, width um, later on depending on the situation that we have so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the 800 850 by 2000 onto the entrance door for our rooms and then we could add something right here as well and then we could have something right here after that let's go to 800 by 2000 and this will be for our so probably 750 I'm going to put it at 750 and I will have it onto this one and also onto this side for our powder room I'm giving it some space so that we have enough space to add in our sink right here and then I believe that's about it um, and then we're going to add a different um, door for our entrance so let's go to insert load family we're already here so I'm gonna add in a glass door something like this click on open I'm just going to add the first four because those are the 2000 height click on open DR because this is a system family and we're going to add in maybe the 900 so that this is the the entrance door so I like it bigger so that's about it we added the glass entrance door right about here and then as you can see we have this one um, I'm gonna put the stairs probably right here um, and then we could start adding um, some of the furniture so that everything is visual uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put in so probably I'm gonna move this a little bit because I want to have my uh, kitchen right here uh, along this uh, wall and then we're, we will have an island so now I'm gonna go to insert uh, and then load family and let's go and add in some furniture so I'm gonna pull this up to the main look for furniture and then we could start off by adding seating so here we have different kinds um, I'm planning to do to add a sofa so a sofa corbo click on open and then CM so we're going to add one at a time so I'm gonna add one right here and a bigger one right here that I'm going to edit so here we have added one here but we're going to edit type duplicate and we're gonna change this uh, width to a bigger size so probably 2500 click on OK and as you can see this one becomes bigger so we basically edit the size of this after that let's load more um, we could add in um, the tables now so let's go right here we have coffee table and then CM and then add the coffee table right here 
um, what we could do is we could actually change this size I think we it's better if we put this one right here the bigger one right here so that we have enough space for the entrance right here uh, here we can select the coffee table and we have different sizes that are pre predetermined so we could have it like that let's move this one to the wall and give it some space like that and then we could have our entertainment right here and then here we're going to load more family and then let's add in the dining table click on open cm on that and let's add the dining table right about here select this one and let's edit the size or let's see if they have a proper size that we want i want the depth of this but i want to have a, a longer one so i'm gonna edit this and we could just type in dining and then the width probably 1000 and then the length i'm going to put it at 2500 now it's good enough size so sorry let's just say no uh, i wasn't i was able to press double and then to edit it so here let's add this and then go to insert again let's add in some seating for this so go back and then seating and then we're gonna add this one click on open cm and then let's add one side first Because it's easy for us to mirror this afterwards and then we're going to give it some space so spacing on each one and then after that you can use one of this mirror or the one on the other side so this is the pick axis I know there's an axis here that's why you can use it or you can draw it as well similar to what I did I draw it somewhere in the midpoint of uh, anything like a family or or the walls so uh, you there's always uh, a nodes that you can uh, set it up I'm planning to create a double glassed um, fireplace right here so i'll probably think of uh later on we're gonna so that uh we have a separation of room but this will be looking really good because we have that something there and then after that i'll probably have glasses right about here and then an opening glass right here i'm thinking of should i add a glass um, sliding door or a uh, um, or a panel by bifold right here a glass panel bifold so I'm still thinking of that or a sliding door right here so which one should we put for the um, exit to go to the um, backyard so here we're gonna add and then we could add in an entertainment um, system right here um, let's not forget the side tables as well so let's go to insert load family I'm going to go back and then table and then table end or nightstand after that CM and then here we could just add it on this side and then add a light right here so go back to the main and then lighting and then here architecture internal and we have some something that looks like this we have 
a floor lamp and then we have a table lamp so I'm gonna use one of this so I'm gonna click on this click on open if I see M here what will happen is it will put it on the on that elevation so if I want to know the proper elevation of this I could try and using spot elevation but after that it's not actually targeting so most of the time this is what you can do spot coordinate this is not correct but spot elevation you can add it but usually it's for the ceiling so that's not something that we can use so I'm just just gonna type in CM and then add it right there it's added but you're not gonna be able to see it because it's not in the proper elevation so I'm gonna add in this one is a section and then we could double click on there after that what we can do is AL and then grab it from below so I'm going to push this one on the side so that we can see it proper properly so I'm going to align it from here and then I wish I could grab this one right there so now it's in the proper uh, location once we go here it's showing there so I'm gonna delete this for now because I don't want it to be bothering me and then before we finish I could just insert some of the toilets right here so let's go back and then go to plumbing architecture and then fixtures and then we have water closet here that we have a commercial 2d or just domestic 2d we don't need to add in the 3d but it's up to you if you want to add that or this one so i'm just gonna add the 2d and then cm on that and we could add it right about here we have enough room and then here we could add it in between right here and then we could add in the sink so load go back here click on sink um, we could choose whatever the, what we want so I'm gonna add in the square and then after that CM and then we could add the sink right about here in front and then we could add it right here and then to give it more detail let's go to annotate click on detailed line we already at thin line so that's good enough and then we could just add a countertop on that and then lastly let's check out this dimension right here it's 1463 so we're going to add in a shower right here so let's go back and then we have a shower right here and then cm and then add it right here we could space this out properly and then select this edit type and then we have the dimension there 1463 so 1463 add that one right there and we were able to add the shower right there and we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below